Hi there and welcome back to the 32-bit run and today we're going to be doing something a tad uh, stupid. So I'm going to be pitting my 1996 Toshiba T2130 CT laptop running Windows 95 against this Chromebook. Yeah, unfair competition but let's see who wins. Alright, so we've got five categories, which are battery, so obviously battery life, productivity, which is what can you do with it in terms of office software, like Microsoft Office for example, protection, so password, security, power as well, like how quick is it, how powerful is it, and can it run Doom is a good one. So, first of all, let's talk about battery life. Yeah. Toshiba doesn't win there. Um, it has a battery life of about... About 10 seconds, if you're lucky. Um, whereas this Chromebook has a battery life of a lot more than that. Um, it's been running... I've been using it back and forth for like a month now and it's only at 70 odd percent. So that's a point for the Chromebook and if my editing skills are any good, the point will come up there. Or there. Alright, so our next category is productivity. Yay. Um, so in this one, basically, Chromebook wins again. Obviously, that's got the newest version of Microsoft Office. However, I do say it wins, but it's close. Because even though it's got the newest version of Microsoft Office, you need to have an Office 365 subscription for it to work. Whereas, the Windows 95 laptop runs Office 97, which is free now, abandonware and all that. And, well... You don't need a subscription for it because it's yours. So I'm going to give each of them a, um, a point. So that's two to the Chromebook and one to the Toshiba. Alright, our next topic is protection. And by this I mean like antivirus and so forth. So everybody remembers the advert recently in the UK for the Chromebooks where it suggested switching because you don't have to worry about viruses ever again. Well, I don't know if that's the case. So I'm going to give it a point. I'm going to give the Chromebook a point. And I'm actually going to give the Toshiba a point as well because nobody makes viruses for Windows 95 anymore. Plus, the other thing is, right, the Chromebook doesn't get a point here because the Toshiba gets a point since it's less desirable to thieves and less than they're specifically looking for 1990s laptops. Um, therefore, bringing a score up to something, but I'll put it up at the top and I'll remember what it is. Um, so, yeah. The Toshiba gets another point here, and the Lenovo got the point for the last one. And so did the Toshiba, right? I'll pretend I know where I'm going with this. Um, so my next one's power. How powerful is it? Okay, Toshiba runs a 75 MHz 486. It's not that powerful. It was for the time, but not now. So basically Chromebook gets that. It's got an AMD E4, I believe. So Chromebook gets that point. Now, Doom. Doom's dead easy. Because on the 486 is designed for running on a floppy disk. On the Chromebook you can use DOSBox, which is supposed to be an alternative. However, that's not my preference. I prefer to use the original hardware, so I'm going to give an R point to the Toshiba. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, yeah, and finally, Chromebook's a point here because it's using flash memory, which is a lot faster than the 500 meg hard drive and the Toshiba. So, yes, here we are. So finally, as you can see, we have a winner.
and at this point I've lost count. So the winner's going to be up there. Congratulations for whatever it is. And we'll hope for the best. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Wasting a little bit more of your time. Eh? Um, yes, so thank you and good night.